How do you like me now? I thought today we would have a look at the Conit bulk filler. This pen has been in my possession for a while now. It was sent to me by Conit, and I find myself actually still very much liking it. Right now there's Momiji in there by Iro Shizuku, a very nice red, well, reddish ink that looks nice in a demonstrator. And since I received this pen, a couple of other Conid models have been launched. The king size, which I'm still eyeing, uh, but also a slimline, and this is the regular streamline. There's also a flat top, this is the streamline, and there's also a giraffe now, which is kind of like this model, but a lot longer. What makes these pens special is the filling system, which I can't really show you because it's inked up, but uh, you can check out my original review, and I talk about it more then. Uh, it is a, a very fascinating um, filling system that I really enjoy because it really maximizes ink capacity. Now that's one thing I really like. Secondly, I like the looks and I like the section. I like the way you can hold this pen. I like the size, although I'm still eyeing the king size, um, but I do really like the way it looks. It's a technical look, sort of an industrial look. I very much enjoy that. I like this titanium medium nib. They come in fine and medium, although I saw that on the king size, which I'm still eyeing, you can also get a broad titanium nib, um, which I find very fascinating. Although, I think for a nib like this, it might actually make more sense to get a fine or medium, because the titanium actually has some nice spring to it, and you get some nice line variation, which will be a bit more pronounced if you start out with a final nib. Have to be a bit careful you don't spring it. That hasn't really happened with this nib, although I do notice that once in a while I do have to realign the tines. Not so much because they get sprung a bit, but because they scissor a bit and they end up like that or like this or something like that. But that's actually relatively easy to do with this material. So I like that. I also like the fact that this pen can be completely, completely taken apart. You can buy a set uh, uh, of tools, a little Allen wrench and a sort of now what do you call it? another type of wrench with two little teeth that you put uh, in the end of the uh, barrel then you can disassemble the whole uh, piston unit which I think is very very nice yes you have to buy that separately but it's not that expensive uh, uh, given the, the the price of these pens it doesn't add that much to the cost and you'll you'll be able to completely maintain your pen at home add some grease if you like etc I very much enjoy that so in all, I find myself using this pen quite a bit. It's not exactly a daily writer, it's not always inked up, but I do find it to be a very fun pen, a pen to, to fiddle around with, easy to fill, easy to clean up, um, and the, the filling mechanism is definitely something that, that is a conversation piece. If you're with other people who enjoy fountain pens, it's a very nice uh, pen to pull out and show them how it works, etc. So, I think it's very cool. I like it a lot. I thank Conit for sending me this. Uh, I think I'll do a quick writing sample again so you can see what the, the titanium nib etc. is all about. Of course, I have done a full review of the pen. You can check that out on my channel. There's a direct link on my website. Um, the Conid Bulk Filler. I hope this was useful. Let's do some writing, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so writing with the bulk filler. Something I really enjoy about this pen is the nice wet flow. So again, this is that medium titanium nib. Um, good wet flow smooth nib. Now titanium, uh, there are other nib options. Titanium always offers a bit of feedback. That's just the way it is. Um, but in all, I think this is a very nice writing experience. Um, as I said, a pretty nice wet writer uh, that I definitely enjoy because I like a wet pen, but also a decent amount of line variation. And again with titanium you have to be a little careful because you don't really get a lot of feedback on when you are about to spring the nib. And that's why I would stop comfortably. But as you can see, that's quite some line variation. So if I realign my nib a little bit here, then in your writing, 
you can get some really nice expressive writing. Notice the bits there, that's the feed scraping across the paper, so you'd have to adopt a somewhat higher angle. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing there, sorry. So that's that's pretty much it, and I think that's a really nice um, nice writer in a very comfortable size. One thing I didn't point out in the talk part is this secondary ink reservoir. It's very similar to the Visconti power filler. The nice thing about that is that you can drain that and then when you go and fly, if there are any pressure differences in the cabin, no ink will uh, leak out of your pen. And once you want to write again, of course, you just fill it up like that and you're ready to go. So there you have it, the Conan bulk filler. I very much like this pen and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Gladly see you later. Bye-bye.